I really wanted this menu to be delicious, whimsical, yet approachable on all fronts. To start, I'm making a smoked duck confit video. I find it common a lot of people haven't had duck confit before, so I paired the spicy sauce with these delicious sweet potato fries. The sweetness, that depth and crunch paired with the spicy video, tender smoked duck confit, it was really delicious. Next, I'm paying homage to a staple here in California, carne asada fries, but in a sandwich form. I marinated steak with beer, soy sauce, lime juice, and oregano, and slapped it on the grill. Sliced a fresh bolillo roll, sliced my meat, and garnished the sandal accordingly. But of course, topping it with delicious skinny yuca fries, crunchy on the outside and fluffy on the inside, it didn't disappoint. Next, I'm frying up a combination of boniato fries and sweet potato fries. I want to showcase the difference with these two delicious fries side by side and really give the guests an opportunity to see the subtle differences between these family members. I'm topping it with my own spice blend of dehydrated Thai chilies and a fish sauce powder. These Tio Jorge sweet potato fries hold up excellent in takeout and to-go orders. They arrive to customers fresh as ever. I by no means am a sushi chef, but I could not escape the opportunity to utilize the skinny yuca fries as my plant-based tempura shrimp. I fried panko and mixed it with furikake, prepped my meats before the build and then constructed my sushi rolls, topped with the seasoned panko and chili oil. As a father, I like to find ways to impress my kids. So finally, these thick cut yuca fries will be my dessert. With a light and fluffy interior and a crispy exterior, they will hold up well as the vessel to serve as my candy apple yuca fries. I brought sugar, water, and corn syrup to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and added in some food coloring. Dipped the fries in the candied mixture, shaved some apples, and it was all she wrote. For sure a favorite with the kids. 